So Twitch is allowing adult content to an extent. And let's be clear when I sit there and say allowing, they've been allowing adult content. They just haven't really been clear on the rules on what they can and can't do. So the only difference with this new update is that they're trying to make the rules a little more clear about the stuff that you can do and the stuff that you can't do. And also, they're trying to make it more where you don't accidentally click onto that stuff. Like it's not the first thing that you see in your recommended um, you know, algorithm or whatever. Which is fine because some people don't want to see that. Some people may be at work and that stuff just kind of just shows up and it's not a good look or whatever. So for those people, it's fine. Now, there are going to be some people that's going to be upset about the fact that they are allowing this adult content on their platform, a platform that is specifically geared and pushed more towards a younger site. And to some extent, they do have a point. Right? They do have a point. Because parents shouldn't have to sit there and worry about if their child is going to accidentally see stuff that they shouldn't be seeing. And that's simply because adult content creators can't find another avenue that they can sit there and market themselves on. It shouldn't be their problem. But then the, the, the counter suit to that is that minors can always sit there and go on another site, lie about their age, and still see stuff that they shouldn't be seeing. So it doesn't it doesn't really it's like it doesn't really solve the problem in a lot of ways if if we're gonna sit there and keep it a hundred. And the thing that's the thing is that's so crazy to me is that again these rules and stuff like that that they're doing they just want to make sure that they're covering their own asses. Because they, they've been allowing this stuff to go on for years. Because it makes them it makes them money. It makes them money. It's, it's profitable for them. You know? Why do you think that when it comes to us cracking down on rules and banning people and things of that nature, men get punished way harder than women? Because women bring in more money than the men do. Now, hell, there was one streamer that literally, we'll sit there and say, had loving in the afternoon. Live. On their platform. And this chick just got a seven-day ban. Where Jillian said, spam something in the chat for Pokemon. And this dude got a lifetime ban. Twitch isn't stupid. They know they know their audience, and most importantly, they know. You know they know what brings in the money, and seeing how they're actually paying creators less money than a lot of other places, even YouTube. They're not something they're trying to you know they're not something they're trying to lose anything at this point. So again, I find this update very funny to me because the update is not really an update it's just there's a couple of things that they're changing like as far as you're not going to be there, there's going to be no more accidents or very few amount of accidents as far as something coming up on your page and it's just being like damn near music you know it's like you have to sit there and go through F, extra safeguards to sit there and, and seek that stuff out which is something they should have did from jump if you're going to sit there and allow that stuff on the platform, which is very debatable, <clears throat> then at least have safeguards where it's like, because I could be at work or whatever. Hey, I want to sit there and check out my favorite, you know, Twitch stream or whatever. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm on Twitch. I'm not, I'm not on. You know, I have little embarrassing moments like that. And plus, you know, the minors and stuff like that, which is, again, I can see both sides of it. I can see both sides of it. It's been working so far. They've been they've been managed to maintain that for for a while and making profit off of it. They're just trying to cover their asses more. And I think this is the best 
solution to a bad situation. Let's let's be very clear. This is a bad solution. I mean, you're having gaming content with minors, and you're having adult performers coming on there to sit there and try to peddle their content. And no one's never going to be happy. That's the thing. No one's never going to be happy. I believe they can have these safeguards. Well, it's better than nothing at this point, I guess. Anyway, um, that's just my thoughts on it. Let me know in the comment section, do you think that um, that this is actually a good thing, that they're at least trying, or do you think they're just kind of just, you know, like, what, what are your thoughts in the comment section? Let me know, and I will see you in the next video.